Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Karen from the Dorsch Branch, the Moore County Library System. And this week on Reading Road Trip, we're heading to New Mexico. So New Mexico is right here on our map. Santa Fe is the capital. It became our 47th state on January 6, 1912. And the nickname is Land of Enchantment. And how they got that name is because of its rich history and, it, and its um, scenic um, landscaping. Yeah, therefore, it got the name. So, um, New Mexico is home to the largest hot air balloon festival in the world. Every October, approximately 600 hot air balloons um, light up the sky. They go and, and um, it's in Albuquerque. It's called the Albu Albuquerque International Balloon Festival. And it began in 1972, and each year it continues to grow and expand. And to, as of um, this year, or, well, last year, I guess, because um, approximately 900,000 spectators have come to view the, the hot air balloons. Also in New Mexico, it's the world's largest, um, sorry, it's the greatest temperature range in the United States. So New Mexico has recorded um, 50 below and also 122 degrees. So there's a wide range of temperatures that they host there in New Mexico. Also in New Mexico, they have the World Shovel Racing Championship and it's exactly what it sounds like. You actually race down the hill on a shovel. So it started as one of the Lift operators would rate you would go down the hill after they so they would race and then they started to race and then it started to become a thing and everybody was doing it so um, it began I'm trying to see it in 1970s um, that's when it first started and so today there, there's the contest and there's a big deal and so it's kind of cool I thought that was kind of neat thing to see so um, also in Indiana I'm sorry in New Mexico is the Red River is a town in New Mexico and it usually snows for 48 days a year. So with an average snowfall of 159 and a half inches a year, that is more um, combined total of averages between Chicago, Boston, and Minneapolis. So that's a lot of snow. Um, now in, in, the, in New Mexico, um, to celebrate the fourth, not only is it, um, it's also the, um, to celebrate the fourth, but also it's the festival of the annual UFO festival in New Mexico. Um, over the course of three days, there, there's costume, con I mean, costume contests for both human and your pets. And there's a parade with spaceships, and there's also a 5K and a 10K race. And um, it's also known as the alien chase <laughs> races, so they have that going on. Um, also in New Mexico is the Gathering of Nations. It is the largest gathering of Native American um, tribes in the U.S. It's held annually. Um, on the fourth weekend in April, and it showcased all the aspects of the national I mean, Native American culture and tradition with um, dancing and music and food and crafts. And over 500 tribes around the United States come to participate in that event. Um, the International Folk Art Market showcased um, artists' traditions from all over the world, as many as 800 um, master folk artists come to participate in this in this. Market, art market and um, it's usually around not around 92 countries that come that rep rep representative and come to the to the art gallery um, the uh, festival of cranes is also celebrated in new mexico and it's just it has cranes they come um they return to their winter homes and then the event is known to be one of the top wildlife events in north america the best the festival um, hosts over 134 events in just four days and there's photograph um, contests and um, it's just a real big turnout for that festival for the cranes to, uh, to return. So um, those are just some events and, and um, things that I found out about New Mexico that I want to share with you. If you learn anything, if you want to share anything, like, please let me know. I'd be really interested to hear from you. So until next time, um, on Monday at the Dorsch Branch, there will be a take and make bag available for you or the craft pertaining to New Mexico. Um, so you have a wonderful day. Be safe and be kind. Bye.